Here we go. <clears throat> so I have a new gavel, so I'm going to use it. <laughs> Welcome to uh, our meeting tonight. We have two meetings to conduct. The first is very short. It's the meeting of the Alameda County Water District Financing Authority. This will be about a five minute or a little bit more meeting. And um, so I welcome all the public here and uh, and also would like to wish everybody Happy New Year. So with that, I will ask the district secretary to take the roll. Director Spencer? Here. Akbari? Here. Juan? Here. Toy? Here. Weed? Here. And Sethi? Here. And so may I ask... Uh, Director Weed to lead us in the pledge here. Yes, okay. Please join us. <laughs> okay, at this uh, point in the meeting, we're up to public comments. Members of the public may address the board on any issues not listed on the agenda, which are within the purview of the Alameda County Water District Financing Authority. A five minute limit is customary. However, the board president, myself, may adjust the actual time allotted to accommodate the number of speakers. Members of the public who wish to address the board on a scheduled agenda item will be given the opportunity to do so when that item comes up. Are there any public comments, either written or um, oral, from people attending? I don't see any hands raised. We don't have any that were submitted. Okay. So we'll close um, the public comments period right now, and we'll move on to the consent calendar. So um, we have the approval of the minutes and then confirmation of officers. Do we need nomination for officers, Mr. No. Right, okay. Do I have a uh, motion on the consent calendar? I'll move the consent calendar. I'll second. Mr. Brief question: The officers would be the, the president, vice president. So the the officers are the ACWE board president, as the president of the financing authority. Uh, myself, as the district's finance director, as the treasurer, and uh, the ACWE district secretary, as the financing authority secretary. Right. There's not a vice president of the authority. Okay, great. Thank you very much. So we have a, a motion and a second. Can we take a vote? Director Gunther? Aye. Akbari? Aye. Huang? Aye. Toy? Aye. Weed? Aye. And Sethi? Aye. So we'll move on to the action calendar. And this is uh, the normal resolution regarding uh, holding public meetings virtually. Um, do we have a staff report on that or need huh. one? So uh, we do have a staff report. It's consistent with the same re report that's been presented to the board each month in regard to uh, the legal obligations and authority due to the current emergency declaration due to COVID. Um, this is the last planned meeting of the financing authority before that emergency declaration expires at the end of February. Be happy to answer any questions. Let me move the... Um... AB 361 um, recommendation of city staff, of our district staff. I'll second. Take a vote. Director Gunther? Aye. Akbari? Aye. Juan? Aye. Toy? Aye. Weed? Aye. And Sethi? Aye. So we'll move on to uh, item 5.2. The results of Series 2022 water system revenue bonds, and I 
assume our director of finance will take that up. Great. Yes. Thank you, President Seth, the members of the board. I uh, just wanted to provide a quick recap. I know it's been a while uh, since we had this action, but uh, this was uh, the result of a number of meetings of the financing authority last calendar year. Uh, we issued bonds totaling about 43.6 million to refund the 2012 bonds, as well as provide for 10 million of new proceeds to fund capital projects. That 10 million has been fully allocated to capital projects. Uh, and those uh, bonds that we issued last year will mature in 2042 at the same time as the original 2012 bonds were scheduled to mature. So we did not extend the maturity date. Uh, the district received a total of eight bids through a competitive bidding process and was able to refinance with the true interest cost of 2.66%. And that provided about 2 million in net present value savings for the refunded 2012 bonds. And again, um, the 2022 bonds can also be refunded in the future. Uh, they can be refunded at any time on a taxable basis. Uh, but we would have to wait until 2032 to refund them on a tax exempt basis. You know, obviously, uh, in current market conditions, we uh, obviously would not be looking at any refundings uh, in the near future. Uh, and the district continues to maintain debt coverage well in excess of the required board policy and debt covenant requirements. And so that's just a quick recap of the results of that bond issuance, and I'd be happy to take any questions. Any questions here from the board? I would just like to make a short comment that um, in the refinancings that we did here, we had significant savings to our public and our ratepayers. And so that was uh, really important. And, and being able to issue these bonds at the lower end of the interest rate market before things started to really jump upward. And I think that the, I want to compliment the financing staff and the rest of the senior staff on being able to uh, get this done in a timely fashion so that we could save all that money. Thank you. Um, Thank you. One other additional comment on the financing. The 8.75 funded ratio is, has to be one of the top in the state of California among public agencies, which is our debt flow. Um, obligations versus our revenue. So we are um, well positioned. Thank you. So do we need to, um, this is just a report to the board, right? Not for the authority, not a action item. Correct, there's no action required on this. Okay. Do we have any other reports from the staff on that they need to make to the financing authority? Uh, no, that concludes the business we plan to present to the authority this evening. Okay, well then I will call the adjournment of this meeting. <laughs>